everyone, Gary here from ECI BMX. Just thought I'd take this opportunity to go through some chainring and chainring bolt variations for you. I know it's a little bit confusing sometimes, but once you sort of tend to understand it, it does make things a lot easier. Now, chain rings for BMX predominantly come in two styles, either a five bolt or a four bolt <laughs> massive chain ring. So the four bolts generally are a thicker chain ring, usually about five millimeters thick and used for the older riders. Five bolt chain rings come in a three millimeter thickness and are generally used for the smaller riders with a five bolt spider. Now the four bolt and five bolt, to explain that, a four bolt is what's known as a four bolt BCD spacing. Now the BCD is what's known as a bolt circle diameter. So basically if you draw a circle, a circumference or a circle around through the center of those bolt holes, the diameter of that would be 104 millimeters. And again, the same with a five bolt, sorry, the same again with a five bolt, is if you draw a circle around the center of those bolt holes, the diameter across would be 110 millimeters. Now it does seem silly to do it like that, especially in a four bolt where you can just measure from one side to the other and that is what you can do. In a five bolt, it does make it difficult because they're, they're not opposite each other. So what you do there is you draw the circle around. Now you do hear some people call it PCD and that is precise bolt circle diameter. Um, but, but the correct terminology is a BCD. So the other way you can determine the difference between a four bolt and a five bolt if you do have trouble drawing a circle around and trying to work out the BCD of it is that you can measure the actual um, chain ring bolt holes so you get two um, bolt holes side by side, measure from centre to centre, and you'll find that a four bolt um, BCD or four bolt 104 BCD chain ring measures 73.6 millimetres from hole to hole. And on the five bolt, you do the same thing. You'll measure the two holes are joining each other, and that'll measure 64.7 millimetres. So that's an easy way to determine, more so on the um, 5 bolt 110 BCD, as opposed to trying to um, draw an accurate circle around through the centre of more. So that's a simple way to determine the, the difference and to make sure that uh, your chain ring that you're about to purchase or that you've, that you've got is either a 104 or a 110 BCD. Because there are quite a few different varieties, so you can get 5 bolt in other sizes and four bolts in other sizes, but predominantly all BMX cranks or spiders use either 110 or 104 BCD. Okay there, chain ring bolts. Now chain ring bolts come in a variety of uh, materials, being chromoly, alloy, or titanium. The most budget conscious ones are the chromoly ones. They come in a pack of five nuts and bolts. And what they do is they utilize a notch system in the actual nut to enable you to be able to secure that to hold it in place when you undo the actual bolt out of it. The tool that you require for that is either a chain ring bolt spanner like that or a chain ring bolt screwdriver. Either of those are a very affordable tool. They um, the problem with it is that the little notch in the nut at the back does sometime burr and also the tool, the little, um, little notches on the tool um, do tend to play up a little bit. So because of that, companies like um, Eleven, for instance, have bought out a twin Allen key um, arrangement where the nut itself has an allen key internal thread to suit a six mil allen key and the bolt part of it has the same standard five mil so what it means is that you can actually secure the the back of the the nut itself and lock that quite simply like that into your um into your spider so they come in either a six mil or 8.5 mil now the it's not an exact science so 
I've measured a, a multitude of chainring bolts and it seems to me like they do vary a little bit uh, one mil one way or, or the other between the two so the, the way you're meant to measure it is the actual um, if you lock the nut all the way onto the bolt the difference between the two heads is where you measure it I'll put up a little uh, graph just to show you that but believe me it's not an exact science and the reason for the two different sized um, two different sized chainroom bolts is simply that you have quite a few different thicknesses of spiders and chain rings so if you can see this um, retro chain ring spider from profile it's quite a narrow narrow material utilized obviously five bolt like I said is for junior riders so it doesn't need to be super strong and it does reduce the weight I've put that onto a, a Renon chain ring and as you can see that just clicks into place because Renon actually have an internal thread. The other style of um, spider is a traditional four bolt but as you can see by that it is a thicker material again because it's for a senior rider so it needs to be a lot stronger and then of course once you go into two piece cranks with built in spiders quite often these have quite a beefy um, spider thickness there so you definitely need to go to an 8.5 mil or something um, chain ring spider for that so that's got to accommodate obviously the the chain ring um, again you can well, utilize the random one just because it's quite handy but that goes into, into place locks in like that and the chain ring bolts but you can see the the thickness that those chain ring bolts have to accommodate is quite a large amount so that's why you have the difference between a five mil and an eight mil Renan sell a, um, a range of chain ring bolts and again they utilize a similar similar setup to what uh, the 11s do and they run a um, an allen key head and base so the head of theirs is a four mil so it gives you a little bit more body to the actual bolt and the base which i can't find on the on the bench here uh, yes i have i've dropped it on the floor okay just like that i'm back um the base runs an eight mil allen key um, base so uh, the advantage with the rental ones is that you can buy them as bolts and nuts separate in four or five um, quantity so it does you it does reduce the price a little bit by not having to buy such a um a full set so hopefully that's covered majority of the things we need to cover in regards to chain ring and chain ring bolts and clarify it a little bit if there is something you need to know more or if there is another subject you want to find out about just shoot me an email at gary at eciimports.com and um and we'll try and shoot another another little uh, clip for you so Thanks for what, taking the time to watch this and um, stay safe out there. It's Gary from ECI BMX and um, yeah, talk soon. Cheers.